and we get about 50% of those in so far, and we'll have about 70 by the end of the year. And then the next step is to move to doing. And there's a couple key things that we're doing with that. So the peer-to-peer -peer network, one of the things that cities benefit tremendously from is the ability to share ideas, to work together. And so having a peer network with chief resilience officers and their associated staff can all work together is, is a great way to do that. And then uh, the last way is we've built a robust partnership with uh, leading uh, sustainability and resilience practitioners from Perkins and AROP and AECOM and Microsoft and over a hundred others of people that are working around the world with us to help achieve urban resilience. And again, uh, the time to do this is now. And if I can close with just one last thing. Um, in thinking about political wealth, I, I really do love this topic. I think it's really important. Um, I keep thinking about a phrase. I don't know if any of you are, are public administrators, but there's a theorem of public administration, Miles Law. Anybody know this? Rufus Miles was a federal administrator back in the 50s and 60s. And his uh, Miles Law says, where you stand depends upon where you sit. And it's all about perspective. And when you're thinking about shaping political will, it's how do you influence perspective? And I'm going to stop here, but I think the single biggest thing for all of us is how do we prioritize, uh, prioritize resilience and sustainability? There are so many things going on in cities, and our need is to go and make sure that urban resilience, that the sustainability goals are top and front and center, or otherwise you're just never going to get budget, you're not going to get staff resources, and it's not going to get done. And with that, I will yield my time back to uh, the moderator. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Five minutes and 59 seconds. Um, not that we're counting. Um, I think that you raised several very interesting questions that will also resonate with subsequent presentations. Why some cities succeed and others don't. Issues of political will. What is political will? How does it relate to uh, both support and prioritization as well as stability and risk? All these are vitally important when you get into particulars. Um, focusing down a little bit more, but not to a particular city, we are fortunate to have with us uh, Dr. Um, Juana Lopez Padan, who's Director of International Relations and European Projects of the Spanish Federation of Municipalities and Regions. That is not only cities, but even Catalonia? Even Catalonia.